Karina, good afternoon to you. What's happened at the school so far today? Good afternoon. Well, so far, finally, parents hearing that an investigation will get underway into long-standing claims of racism emerging at the uh, Gravesena Girls High School in the Bluff near Durban. Now, what's happened there? We hear from the pupils who gave very tearful testimony before the education department about allegations of racism from some teachers and allegedly the principal pointing out that they're being victimized because of their race also alluding to the code of conduct regarding their hair and that there are usually issues with their hair even though uh, they are adhering to their natural hair they say teachers have issues with this and don't have similar issues with learners from other race groups and they want intervention. When we were there, we heard that the MEC was actually at the school in 2019 when similar incidents emerged and were revealed. And at the time, the department didn't hold any investigation. They had talks with the pupils and teachers to find a way forward. But today, the KZN Education MEC is saying they won't make that mistake again. By Friday, an independent panel will be appointed and they'll interview pupils, uh, they'll interview parents, SGD members teachers, staff, um, as well as the principal to find a way forward. By 21 days, that investigation will be concluded and a report will be handed in to ascertain what exactly has been happening at the school and who must be held accountable, who are the culprits of this apparent racism that's been taking place at the school from what we hear over the years now, not just uh, since January when the first incident of racism was reported for just this year and ultimately led to the protests and this meeting. Uh, on the ground, parents, they, they want more intervention. Uh, the pupils as well say they want to see the suspension of the school principal um, uh, pending the investigative report, but the Education MEC says due process must follow and suspensions or rather disciplinary action will only take place after that independent panel investigates what's happening at the school. Corinda, certainly it seems that people there are very, very angry, parents very frustrated. I imagine learners both very frustrated and very hurt. Uh, uh, yes, indeed. Uh, today there was a small assembly where pupils had gathered to be addressed by the MEC, but this disrupted into chaos. Now, members of the EFF were also present at the school, but it was not established whether all of the EFF members had pupils that were going to the school or who had come to lend their voice to the plight of pupils and regarding the apparent racism there. But in the midst of this, there was shouting and chaos where uh, EFF members and parents were upset that they weren't able to have a question and answer session with the MEC and they disrupted the meeting before he could address pupils. After they left, police had escorted EFF members out uh, and after a brief meeting with parents, uh, uh, parents were also escorted out and the pupils had gathered in a school hall to be addressed by the MEC and when they actually spoke to him and, and detailed some of what they had been experiencing one learner broke down into tears uh, over what had happened and and what we can see is they feel that they are not being represented at the school they want immediate intervention and the department says that if immediate intervention is necessary uh, before the 21 days before the investigation can be complete they will indeed embark to do so uh, teaching and learning will resume as normal uh, for the next few days but it will be interesting to see on the ground uh, how uh, pupils will handle what has happened at their school. Already parents say that they're unsure how this investigation and this panel is going to work. They haven't received much details after they were briefed by the MEC, but uh, more details are expected to come from the school as to how all stakeholders involved, especially the pupils who are experiencing this apparent racism, can have their voices heard and perhaps uh, find some uh, justification some form of justice, rather, uh, following what we have heard uh, that has happened in the school, Stephen. Karin Dijagmohan, thanks very much indeed for that live update, live from the Grosvenor High School in Durban in KwaZulu-Natal.